to the channel and this week on craft with us of course I have my mom here and on today's episode we are going to be showing you how to turn some Dollar Tree signs into a beautiful home decor piece so today we are going to be working with two of the character signs for Christmas so mom has Santa and I'll be using the snowman head and these again are from the Dollar Tree and you're going to need one of these whatever one you decide and then we are going to be recycling or upcycling something from halloween so this is the beware long sign i don't know if dollar tree has a similar one out right now for christmas but we're actually going to be using the back of it for this craft today so you're not even going to need the beware but if you find one in the same size then that'll work just then as well. you're going to need an assortment of paint as usual and then anything that you want to decorate your piece with so we've got some pine cones ribbon um stuffing and snow um you know just an assortment of different items we think we might use uh, but whatever you have at home that you think you might want to use for this project will work just as fine. So we're going to go ahead and get these painted. Mom's going to be painting hers red since she's working with Santa and I'm going to be painting mine white. And then we're also going to be distressing it so that way it looks like a piece of wood, which is the what we're going for for this project. So hopefully things turn out. We will go ahead and do that and we will show you what we end up with when we're finished. We're back and we're all done painting the long piece of wood so we're letting it to dry and now we are going to work on our Santa Claus piece and she's going to be working on her snowman. We're going to go ahead and decorate these and we will show you what we do and we will be back once we are finished. guys so the next step you're going to do is you're going to take your character head and the board and you're going to glue them together so it forms one piece we're gonna do that and we will be right back hey guys welcome back so we are officially completed on our project this week this one was super easy super fun uh, definitely would make these again if we are able to find the supplies for it um, we had a lot of fun making this this week and they turned out really cute so we're really excited to show them. So once you have everything all together you should end up looking or having something that looks like this. So here's the snowman. Here. It's really cute. And then and this is mine. Mine is the Santa Claus. It's hard to show everything because it's really long. <laughs> it's like a super tall one. So these, basically all we did this week is you saw us painting the board and then we basically just went ahead and mixed black in with the paint, so the white or the red, and then just blended it so that it created the lines to give it a plank look. And then the little buttons on here are just pom-poms from our Halloween craft that we did with the banner. So we had these left over, they got cut off, so we finally got to use them. And then for the snowman, um, I basically left him alone except for he had a pink carrot nose. So I went <laughs> ahead and mixed some white and orange to paint it the proper color of orange. Then I had some leftover raffia rope from last week's craft and wrapped it around here 
And then I had a Jolie's sticker, Christmas sticker that was super old. So I went ahead and used one of the green um, holly berries, well, without the berries, but just the leaves. And then we figured out how to coil some rope into a Mickey shape because we are big Disney fans. So this will go perfectly with our decorations because our trees are both Disney. <laughs> um, and then mine, I even added a little snowflake Mickey up here in rhinestones. And then on the top of his hat, where the hole is for you to hang it up as a separate piece, I just had some leftover rhinestone snowflakes, so I used one to cover that hole. And then I used a couple of the others just to decorate it so it didn't stand out that he had only one snowflake on his hat. But that is everything that I did for the snowman. Now mom's gonna go ahead and walk you through how she did Santa. Paint it red and <laughs> use the black. And then you go on and that makes it look like the wood. And then on him, he had like a, kind of a pinkish nose and I didn't like it, so mm -hmm. I painted it red. And then up here, I put the cotton. Um, it's basically like um, batting or like oh, pillow, stuffing. Like like pillow stuffing. stuffing. Yeah. We had left over from our Halloween pillows that yeah. we did. Uh -huh. so. so I put it on here and then I put on the top of his hat. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing with her, it had a hole in there where you can hang it. So she had some old snowflakes yep. and she had for a long time. So we just put that on. And then here, that was from our Halloween. We had some little buttons, put three little buttons. I glued those on. And then I put a belt, just paint it black. And we made another Mickey with a rope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like what she did hers. Yep. And I like the white and gold on him. So that's my Santa Claus. All right, so the only other thing with these is because we used the Beware, so he's just stuck on there like that, we did go ahead and leave the, um, the ribbon for the Beware sign to hang it. Otherwise, it's going to be super tall, and some, it's kind of an awkward length to have it hanging off of the top of it. So we decided to use this one, um, but the beware sign on the back, it sheds a ton of glitter, as you can expect from the Dollar Tree. So we are actually going to go to the craft store and get some of those large foam sheets so that we can get a neutral color and just glue that just over the color. top. So that way it gives it a finished look and you won't have any more glitter shedding everywhere. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching this week's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, there That's my daughter over there. <laughs> <laughs>